It seems many members of this thread were deeply upset about my mockery of Mr. Medicare. I would like to take this moment to apologize to each and every one of you who were offended by my callous mockery of a person you know through YouTube videos. It's clear you all have a lot of personal investment in this esteemed full-time YouTuber that you know only through his online persona and subsequently spurred out when he was mocked on a website that was founded on the premise of mocking people. I understand completely. Medicare's probably pretty thick considering how much time he dedicates to being a YouTuber. I'd like a piece of that motivated ass too. Alas, not all dreams were meant to come true. And Medicare is a very busy man, but take heart. From what we do know about Medicare, he's very fond of exceptional individuals. So your chances of getting a personal display of gratitude for him are more likely than you think. In light of this recent outcry, I've reevaluated my standards on what is cringy and have adjusted my views accordingly. Medicare choosing to associate with impressionable 14-year-olds to validate his sense of self-worth is perfectly normal for a man in his late 30s. It's not at all weird or indicative of somebody who might be considered a man-child. No, my autistic compadres, this is the hallmark of a badass, and to be frank, the only reason I mocked him was due to overwhelming envy of his ability to make internet videos. Fucking Medicare and his charming voice. Am I the only one that gets a stiffy when I listen to his silky, smooth voice? And who doesn't respect the man of the arts? If only I could have witnessed his wonderful prose, or had the privilege of him informing me about all things anime, with anime facts. I don't know about you, but becoming a poet in today's modern world is the most Chad thing I can think of. That's not a faggot <clears throat> hobby, that's a Chad hobby. Well, to what... be honest, I, I, I actually really like the idea that you could become a poet. Because you're gay, Uzi. Well, what of his nihilism? Again, I severely misjudged how woke this man was, and realized that society is a fundamentally flawed invention. The American Revolution? That's fucking cringe. Farmers chafing off against a professional standing army. What a bunch of cringy faggots. Would have been fucking hilarious if they failed knowing the graveyards would be brimming with thousands of dead, exceptional individuals. Lol. The truth is, I too want to be like the Joker from Batman and watch the world burn. Because society expects me to work for what I want. Well, fuck society. I'd rather watch it burn for not making my life as easy as I wanted it. Of course, this apology wouldn't be complete without an admission. I cheated on Jim with Sargon. I laid my bare hands on Shargon's chubby ass like he was a plush pillow, and I asked him what is white. That really seemed to get him going, and I proceeded to motorboat his man tits. I felt like we really hit it off, but Sargon seemed distant. I think he heard me yell out Jim's name when I cooed. He knew my heart lied with another. Jim speaks to my autistic heart, like he does to many Kiwis. At the end of the day, it's perfectly okay if Jim got unreasonably upset when someone spoke of his past. Because Jim has nothing to fear. Jim is perfect. I hope one day I have the honor of sucking you off, Jim, because I'm the best slut on this website. And then you wrote- You wrote- Jesus! Fucking Christ, you wrote the exact same thing, except you capitalized every other letter. Which means you went back and by hand, you translated the whole thing into your own autistic speech. This is way worse than what he did. You're the fucking worst person on the website. I hope I hope you get fucking banned, Aquanaz, because you deserve it. <laughs> I, I wish I was recording this. And I'll say, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If I knew who you were, I would not have invited you to the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna invite me to the Discord, my dude? Yes.